So how do you get them to lay eggs? <laughs> I'm usually capturing wild female, um, either looking at the flight patterns or looking at where they deposit the eggs. And then afterwards, I have a large flight cage at home. And they go into the flight house, they get to nectar. And there are two types of plants that I put in. I put in um, host plants and nectar plants. So host plants are what the butterflies will lay eggs on and the caterpillars will eat. Whereas the nectar plants are like the flowers which they get their food from. So the, uh, the flight house is all full of those types of plants. And for the swallowtails, they also eat the cottonwood trees. So the trees are, play a really important factor here. Yeah, so I, depending on which butterfly I raise, I feed them different types of plants. And also, um, for schools, you know how they have the little um, larvae cups for them to miss metamorphosis? Yeah. I also supply to the schools. And then they also get to do the same purpose of releasing the butterflies. Wow. Beautiful. The little blue. Yeah, they've got like a blue dotted outline on the, right before the yellow border. Yeah, and they almost look a deep maroon in the sunlight. Yeah, look, that, how beautiful that is when they open their wings. Wow. And the iridescent. Are you going to release them here? Yes, at 2.30. Are you a biologist or something? Yeah. They're like going from around the world. They release them? They just release them. But it was only a couple adults, but now they're found all over the world. So all over North America. They're everywhere. And many people mistake them for moths. Day flying moths. Oh, those white ones? Yeah, those, you know, the white ones are actually butterflies as well. Two to three weeks. So that's like the normal butterfly lifespan. And um, I come here for about several times each summer to release a batch of morning clothes. Yeah, I'm Josh, by the way. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, everybody knows this is Joshua. I think everybody's Hello. excited about Yay, this. Yay, Joshua! <laughs> Yay! Yay. 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 Breeding butterflies and releasing them in the garden for two, mm -hmm. two years. Yeah. Two years. Two and breeding years. butterflies for, I think, some more years <laughs> before that also. But, um, and, you know, we we're just, like, so amazed and thankful to have this, this energy and these beautiful insects released into the garden and they're eating they he releases them here because of the habitat is right for them and the cover <laughs> trees and the different kinds of trees um and if you are you gonna answer some questions, if have questions um did anyone have any questions before the butterflies are ready to go <laughs> um i don't know that one i think i need one of them flutter in there <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> so before you release them, I just want to say a huge thank you from the garden because we just like we love it so much. I love that you're saying the same thing. And we're so happy to have you as part of this. Yeah, thank you, Josh. You are trooper. Yeah, I think they're ready to go. Oh, are they all morning cloaks? Yes, these are all morning cloak butterflies. And if you come here back in the spring, you'll be able to see them um, laying eggs and also. Yeah, you'll see you'll see these butterflies all the way till next year. All right. So I think we can count down from five. Yeah. Five. five four, four. Three. Two. One. Okay, here they go. I'm gonna give them a little shake. Oh. Yay! Yay! Out you go. Five. Oh. little guys. She wanna touch the butterfly. I want to touch the butterfly. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. they're anxious to go. <laughs> just, just, careful. Just one more to go. Can I? Oh, oh, that one. There they go. Hi, butterflies. Oh, super. Oh. Yay.